Hello friends, hola amigos. Today I'm going to speak about a car tracker. Welcome to this new video. So I bought myself a little air tag. I'm going to hide this in my vehicle. Very handy when it gets stolen or when I borrow it to friends or my kids. With this little thing, I can see its location all the time. But first we have to remove the speaker. Every AirTag comes with an internal speaker. And this makes the AirTag beep whenever you put it in lost mode. And more important, it also will beep when it follows someone else's iPhone and this is to prevent stalking. So imagine if my car is stolen by someone who carries an iPhone as well. Well, the AirTag will emit a beeping sound after a while and it will be really easy for the thief to locate the exact location of my AirTag and to remove it completely. So I'm going to remove the speaker and this way the AirTag will be in a sort of silent mode. So let's see. And there it is. So I've ordered it in the Apple store. There you can add a little logo for free. I thought it would be fun to have a car on it. Here you can hear the little speaker. So now it is activated, but we are going to remove the speaker. So therefore we turn the copper. We put out the battery and here's the inside of the AirTag. So normally people pry in a little screwdriver and they pry all the way around and they break the three clips that are inside in order to remove the speaker and then they glue this little bit back in place. I'm going to do it otherwise. I'm going to push the three clips. So here's one just on the side, here's one just here, and the other one is just there. So by doing that, I don't break the clips and I simply can clip this bit back in the air tag. So let's give it a try. For that, I'm just using a simple cutter knife. one and it goes two and it goes three so as you, know, you can see I still have my little clips and I can clip it back on so sometimes the speaker is attached over here as in my case, the speaker is already down there. So now I simply put it out. It's now good to put this back in place on the original location. And there you go. So you should know that the air tag isn't as watertight anymore as it is from fabric, but I will put it in a cover anyway. So now I put the battery back and the cover back on top. 
And there we have our AirTag without a speaker. Now let's connect it to the iPhone. And you can see as soon as I have my AirTag next to it, it, it is detected. So I give it my own name. And I can also choose a little icon. And there I take car. There you go. So the principle is quite simple. This AirTag makes contact with other iPhones around it to know its location. So when it's parked in the city or when you're driving in, uh, in the city or in towns with quite some folk, it should easily know its location. The Samsung tag works quite the same and it connects to all the Android devices. And this is why the AirTag or the Samsung tag should really work fine. The Tau depends on the Tau community. And to show you the difference, Apple stated that it had like 1.65 billion of users tau only has 25 million so there's way more chance that your apple air tag or samsung tag is seen by one of those users compared to tau if you really want to be sure there's also something like gps tracker that is way more accurate as the sim card inside connects directly to the mobile network and you have a location of your car all the time even if there are no users around but therefore you have to pay tracker this is almost three times the price and you have to charge your sim card with credits so this is an easy way a cheap way to track your car just in case of so this little guy works with a little cell battery, the same as you use in the key fob. So really handy, easy to replace yourself and it should last for about one year. Before buying the AirTag, I watched a lot of other YouTube reviews on it and they weren't all as positive, but that is because the most tests were done almost immediately after the AirTag was released and not all the iPhones had the right iOS version on it yet. Now we are way later and everybody has the correct iOS on its iPhone and it should be way more precise. But of course we're going to do the test ourselves. But before we do so, of course the location is important. You could just throw it somewhere in the car like this but of course if a thief steals your car first thing you will do is throw it away and it would be useless also i would advise to put it somewhere more to the exterior as in the center everything in the cabin could lock the signal so or you could put it next to the the doors or as i'm going to do i'm going to hide it in the motor compartment so I bought this little holder on Aliexpress. I will put the link in the video description. And simply put the AirTag inside. So I fixed the AirTag inside with some tie wraps. Now I can install it in the motor compartment. So there are plenty places where you could hide this little box. The without it being too obvious. Of course, I would advise to install it somewhere on the exterior, where there's more chance that the AirTag makes contact with iPhones around. So the AirTag is installed. Of course, make sure that it is well installed so it can't fall off. And of course, make sure to install it on a place where it doesn't interfere with the mechanics work. So it's time to test the AirTag in real life. For that I will leave my iPhone and my Apple Watch at home. My expectation is that it will know its location quite well 
in crowded area like parking lots uh, next to the gym supermarkets but i won't have my location on more remote streets so i did several tests and this is how it works if you drive the car with another iphone the location is quite precise but after three days the user will get an alert on his iphone that he is tracked by an air tag as i remove the speaker this isn't a problem it is well hidden so good luck to find it if the car is driven without an iphone its location updates only every 15 minutes so when the car is parked somewhere on a parking lot you have great chances that it is detected by someone's iphone and you have its location however if it's parked somewhere outdoors without a lot of people passing by you will have a harder time to locate your car but this is exactly how the iotech is meant to work you can also use dual fencing so when you bring your car in for repair at the shop you dual fence the car shop and you will be alerted when the car leaves a certain area so i really like this feature easy cheap and a nice thing to have so don't forget to like share and subscribe and leave a comment and i see you in the very next video bye bye